I'm recording this video at the lowest point in my life. On October 27th, 2020, Twitter verified me, and seven days later, they took it away. I don't know why. They did nothing wrong. <laughs> That's a total lie, by the way. All right, let me give you the rundown. I was eating chicken the other night when I got the big news that the Twitter verified account had followed me back. And I was among the newest batch of people that had been inducted into the Twitter Cool Kids Club. The person they followed right before me, White Claw Australia. They have 74 followers. So I had to check, right? And I started getting messages that night from people I knew saying, you know, oh, congratulations, you know, you finally did it. How did you feel? You know, what was your reaction? Because I remember seeing videos of people who had gotten verified like while they were streaming and had some crazy freak out. Uh, but for me, it was kind of like, uh, like, like a slight exhale, you know? Yeah, it was cool, but it wasn't like it wasn't like Dream uploaded, right? It wasn't this wasn't Minecraft Speedrunner versus Four Hunters rematch. Cool. I wasn't the guy who'd have uh, all my fans spam verified Jay Schlatt on Twitter every week, because we all know what happens to those people. But as I sat there with my chicken and I pondered my new achievement, I started to realize, oh, wait, this could be really good. And by good, I mean very, very bad. You see, when you get verified on Twitter, you get a new tab in your notifications just for verified people. So that whenever someone verified, you know, replies to you, likes a tweet, follows you, it always shows up. And that's when I thought it'd be a great idea to start replying to people. Hey, yo, Xbox, what's up, man? It's, it's me, it's, it's Schlatt. 30,000 likes, no response. PlayStation, you know, hey, I got the check. Buddy, I got the fucking check. Give me a free PlayStation, you know? I'm cool. 10,000 likes. No fucking response. Jacob Sartorius, what's up, bro? Just got verified. Dude instantly follows me back and DMs me telling me I'm the man. What the fuck? Something also happens on Twitter uh, when you get verified that I don't think a lot of people know about is that random verified accounts will just come out of the woodwork and start following you and they'll just become your friends now that like they just interact with you now. It's some weird blue checkmark Bohemian Grove shit. So for example, Carson's tweeting about, you know, how, how upset he is that he doesn't have the checkmark. I reply saying it's easy, you know, just consider getting verified. Big fucking Mike shows up with the high guys. Who the fuck is this guy? When did I become Big Mike's guy? Why does Big Mike have 25 followers? Fellas, who the fuck is Big Mike? I'm starting to think this verified thing isn't all it's cracked up to be, boys. But we gotta look at the W's. We gotta look at the W's here. And the biggest one by far. And, uh, I mean, this is big. James Charles. James Charles finally agreed to go on a date. He did. We fucking did it. We fucking did it, baby. May not have gotten a free Xbox, but at least I got that pussy. My time was running out though, because soon enough I would lose the check. I actually uh, put together a list of things I wanted to do uh, while I was verified, but never really got the chance to. So, I mean, I guess I'll, I guess I'll read them out here. I wanted to become unnecessarily political. Like right after I got verified, I had this very sudden, very intense urge to respond to every single Trump tweet with like a like a 10 tweet response. The only actual politics I was able to get into was uh, was adding Trump and telling him to lower my taxes, which uh, I didn't get a response to, but I know he saw it. I also asked presidential candidate Andrew Yang if he wanted to play Minecraft with me. Again, did not get a response but I know he saw it because he followed me. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think he must like what I'm doing. But that was it, that was it. Because as quickly as God had giveth me the check, he had taketh it away. No notification, no uh, no heads up. I didn't get an email saying, hey, you know, you fucked up, so uh, we're taking this away. No, they just unfollowed me. And I was ashamed of myself, because, you know, I had bragged to so many people about how better I was than them now, and now I'm just back on their fucking level. I, I'm, I'm now just like them again. <sighs> I, I I felt like that guy uh, from the book of Job. You know, Job. But at the end of the day, I mean, I guess I kind of had it coming. I mean, the elections were going on. And, uh, you know, over here, you got some asshole with the check mark saying he's the next president of the United States of America. Probably not a good look. Could be that. Could be the fact that, uh, you know, it's probably not a good look to uh, allude to the death of the Queen of England like five times in one week. I don't know, I don't know, could be that. I don't know, who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? But Jack, Twitter, to, to all you guys watching, please consider this my apology to all of you. I am so sorry for insinuating that the Queen of England might die on November 25th. I'm sorry for posting a selfie uh, with me and my gun right after that and claiming that British people would get three days off of work. Uh, 
soon. As the kids would say, it was fucked up and I won't do it again. It's funny because uh, the day I got verified, I actually purchased a mystery box on eBay to celebrate, which is not something anybody should ever do. But I did, but I did. And unfortunately it got here literally the day after I got unverified. So this is gonna suck. The listing for this item is very vague. They don't really say what's in it. They talk about how there's, uh, you know, electronics and Funko, but I'm excited. All right, here we go. That is a fucking roll of toilet paper. 